Let's take a quick look at adding a custom date and time code to your video in Avid Media Composer. For situations where you have a video that doesn't display a time, such as these ring doorbell video samples I'm looking at here, there is no embedded subtitle stream, there's no external subtitle reference, only a date and timestamp in the video itself. Uh, the file name of the video itself gives us the date and starting time of the recording, 11 hours, 50 minutes, and 24 seconds. So I'm going to bring this video in from Ring by holding my Alt key and left click, drag and drop to link. I'll double click on that file to open it in my source browser, and I'm going to just drop it down into a new sequence with my V key. So once I've done that, I'll go back to the beginning of the video. I'm going to label my sequence, sample. Uh, so I don't get lost with it. Always label your sequences. And then I want to add the timecode burn-in effect. So I'll pop over to my effect palette and in the generator category, you'll find timecode burn-in effect. I'm going to drag and drop that uh, down onto my clip. Oop. I'll grab it and drag it down here or highlight the click and double click to add it uh, so you can see that it's been added I have the master time code by default showing over top of my video this master time code is the master time code for your sequence so to customize this time code we can give it a custom start point we're gonna right click on the sequence monitor and go to sequence report so in the sequence report window you'll notice starting time code, which again is in hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. So I'm gonna enter a custom value here. The file name says this video starts at 11 hours, 50 minutes, 24 seconds, and then on zero frames. So I can only be as accurate as my source. I can't get down to milliseconds or even the frame level accuracy when I don't have that information. Once I've entered my custom starting time code, I simply click apply changes to do that and I can cancel out of the sequence report window. You'll see up top that the master time code now starts at 11.50.24.00 and my overlay without making any changes starts at 11.50.24.00. Now I want to uh, make a few changes to this, increase the font size, move it over, and add the date. So I'm going to pop into the effects editing workspace, and we can get to the effect editor through tools, the effect editor. And you'll notice that I can just grab the handle of this particular time code and locate it where I would like it on the screen. You'll notice you can have multiple uh, references of time code. I'm going to only the first one, the top one, display one is turned on, and it's referencing time code, master time code. We can also choose edge code, source code, and frames, even showing the frame, specific frame you're on of this particular video. But I'm going to stick with time code, and really the only change I want to make in this particular case is I'm going to increase the font size. So I'll go down to appearance, expand appearance, and I can drag this to make it larger, or I can just simply type in via my keypad the font size I'd like to use and press tab and I think that looks pretty good so what else I want to add the date I can do that through the text option on the timecode burn in effect here I can add any custom text I'd like and in this case I'm going to add the date of 08 12 2018 and once I've done that I just simply turn it on and adjust my location and effects setting to uh, to my particular preference. So I want to change the size of that font again. I'll click in there. I can drag to scale or just type in a value, excuse me, <laughs> or just type in a uh, value when I'm on that field. So let me go to 50, hit tab, and now it's the exact same font size as my uh, time code. At this point, I'm pretty much done. I can play the video forward and I have my date and time now on screen and customize. And finally, we'll right-click and export to MP4.